Amazon Vine sent me this bubble level, costs normally $10 for free to review. They have not paid me for my opinions and they have no editorial control over my opinions. Um, it's a nice form factor, it has a magnet on the back so you can stick it to things and it'll stay there if it's metallic. Um, it is hard to mess up a bubble level because the bubble does things for you. It basically just goes to the highest point. Um, the one complaint I have about this particular bubble level is that there is a spot in the center which kind of has hysteresis. So instead of smoothly transferring from one side to the other, and when it gets close enough to the center, within about a degree of the center, it jumps to the center. And so you can't do super precise measurements that get things super level. You can get them within a degree, but that's about it. Now, for testing the lay of a putt, that's probably just fine. Um, I was trying to use this off-brand, so I was trying to use it as a leveling device for a mount for a, a telescope, a tripod for a telescope mount. Um, and what I found is that it got pretty close, but using a regular different level, I could get a little bit closer. Um, so, you know, I don't think that's going to matter, you know, the one or two degrees for, for calculating your putt, but if you're trying to use this to really level something, it's not as good as a regular level that I just have around the house. I'm reviewing this Golf Putt Green Reader, and really, it's just a bubble level. I don't play golf. I'm not going to use this on a golf course. I'm going to use this to level my telescope tripod. Um, it looks like it's acting like a bubble level. We're going to compare it against a framing level I have and see how well it works for leveling my tripod. You know, if you are a golfer, you'd point that at the hole, and then wherever the bubble goes will tell you, is the hole downhill, is it going to break right or break left? One thing that bothers my OCD is this crosshair is not lined up with the kind of pointer to the bubble, to the uh, hole. Um, it's not going to matter, it works the same, um, but, you know, if it were me, I would rotate that thing so that line would be there. And this here will do up to six degrees, it looks like, so the outside ring is six degrees, the inside ring is three degrees, and then it kind of jumps to the center there. So it kind of, it, it, it may not give you perfect leveling. It might be only accurate to within a degree because it seems to jump and kind of hold to that center point. It does have a magnet on the back. The idea is you can attach it to any metallic object in your cart to you know, carry around the golf cart. Okay, here we are comparing this bubble level to my Stanley framing level. And you can see we're only testing the left-right level right now. Um, you know, this guy's basically level. It's you know, not perfectly between the lines, but pretty close. And this guy is right in the center there. Now when I move this up, you can see that this bubble stays right in the crosshairs for a while until this gets quite a ways away, and then this guy goes off to the side. So, you know, there it goes up, you know, to six degrees, which is outside of the measuring range of this level. So as we go down, you can see it goes to three degrees, and this guy's getting close. And as we go down, there's a spot where it kind of bounces to the center there. And so there it bounced to the center. Um, now once it bounces to the center, it will stay in the center for a little while. So when I start lifting this this way, for example, you can see that that bubble's halfway across that line. That would be, you know, not level. And this thing is still pretty much stuck in the crosshair. It's not until I get about to there when it jumps away. So it has a, like a little spot in the center where it jumps to it. Um, so it's not a perfect curved dome. There's a little spot in the center of that dome that this bubble sticks into for a little while. And so what that means is that you can't get a good read for things like one degree off. And for golf, one degree off probably doesn't matter. I have deliberately adjusted the legs of my tripod so it is off level. So you can see here on the Stanley level, it's off that direction in that axis. And not quite as far, but off here in this axis. Now I'm going to use the golf putting level to level this guy, and then we'll check it again. All right, so you can see the bubble is not in the center there, so I'm going to be lifting and lowering legs until it is. Okay. So when I set this thing down, the bubble jumps to the center, so this is as level as I can get that guy with that little bubble level. Now, testing against the framing level. It's not bad. It's not 100% within those two lines, though. Um, this guy here, you know, could go up just a little bit there to get that through there. Now, this axis was not as far off. And actually, that axis is fine. I guess I just got lucky there. So, 
end result is if you wanted to carry this large framing level out with you it would do a slightly more accurate job than that little bubble level. Now perhaps a more fair comparison, this is a small enough level that you could actually take it with you. And you can see here that it's definitely not level still in the same direction. That one's pretty close, but you could lift this slightly. So I am going to level this guy with this little level. Okay, as level as I can get it with that guy, compare that to the mini level. Mini level says, yep, dots in the center. Look at the big level. Bubble's just slightly closer to one side than the other, but it's certainly within the lines. And that looks basically right in the lines there. All right, so my takeaway is this guy does a reasonable job leveling it within two degrees or so. Um, if you want more accuracy than that, you're gonna to wanna to use a level that doesn't stick in the center. This guy sticks in the center just a little bit more than I'd like. It's probably, you know, for a golf course, I don't think the, the half a degree or degree there's gonna matter. I think you're looking for the bigger three and six degree slopes. Um, but for astronomy, if that matters to you, you might need to get a, a different level than this guy.